Davis. Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Indiana Fever as they go up against the New York Liberty. With Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're thrilled to have you with us. This is an important game in the Commissioner's Cup. Both teams have a shot to make the final. And that adds another layer of excitement to this one, to this one. regular season game go. with extra importance. Each squad very much alive in the cup race. Rossi outside. Up top, January. Coffee. Pass to Tarasi. The three is up. Elena Deladon with the rebound. Inside, Williams. Second shot opportunity. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. You know, you don't normally see guards who can rebound like Williams, but she uses her quickness to pick up loads of boards for her size. Now, Courtney Williams, one of the toughest players in the league, standing 5'8". She's excellent on the boards, arguably the best rebounding guard in the league. And Courtney Williams led the league in minutes in 2021. With an Atlanta team that missed the playoffs, Williams was not just leading the league in minutes, but she was also leading the league in field goal attempts, competing incredibly hard no matter the situation. Chalk up two right there. Capable of reading the floor and making the right decision. January, the, the veteran knows her team depends on her to facilitate. Now here's Vandersloot. Pass to Williams. Thomas a screen. Six to shoot. Up again. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. It's tough for defenders to neutralize Thomas's impact. She plays every game like it's her last. And I think you have to admire that if you're a fan of basketball or really sports in general. Now, here's Griner. Oh, Puma Kays, that's good. Well, with her height, Griner, a clear view of the court and allows her to spot open teammates. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Xander Slute outside. Pass to Williams. Thomas a screen. Kicks it out to Deladon. Knocks down the three ball. The defense has to chase Deladon off the three-point line. Or this is what happens. Now here's Tarasi. Now Griner. Back to Tarasi. Takes the three. Jessica Breland comes up with the rebound. Here in the first, with just under two and a half minutes played so far. 11 feet out. And it's Brittany Griner with the rebound. January, Vandersloot defending. Coffee outside. Back to Griner. Shoots over Thomas. Griner misses. We don't see that too often. Plenty of space, and she whips on an open jumper. Thomas outside. Man, fouled hard that time. Can't get two shots in the line. It's going to go on Brittany Griner. Yeah, with strong mental and physical preparation, Thomas is able to keep her composure and really just do her thing out on the court. She can't get the first one. When you talk about players that do a little bit of everything on the floor, Alyssa Thomas is someone you have to mention. She is one of the best playmakers at the forward spot.
and she can't make the second free throw either, missing both. Talking about Thomas and her all-around game, how about her 2020 season? I mean, listen to these numbers. Leading the league in steals, second in rebounds. Uh, also, top 10 in terms of free throws attempted. Plus, Alyssa was first team all defense, checking every box. Now, here's Vandersloot. Thomas. And Brittany Griner with the block. Well, I mean, you don't want to test Griner. No way. Incredible length and nasty streak. She's set block records in the WNBA. Here's Griner. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Back to Tarasi. Fires for three. New York, no good that time either. It's been a bit of a struggle for her this quarter in terms of scoring the ball. To the middle. Thomas. Missed inside. You know, she's disappeared this quarter, not making a mark at all with her offense. And you know she'll be happy to get this period over and done with and just start fresh. Now here's Tarasi. Pass to Agumake. Here's Coffey. Out to Tarasi. Shot to end the cold run. That shot, no good. Now Indiana takes it the other way. She certainly has not been at her best this quarter, to, to say the least. Here's Vandersloot. Yes, and it's Elena Deladon picking up the assist. Over the course of her outstanding career, we've seen Deladon become a willing passer, increase her assist numbers. Timeout called the Liberty. A basketball is life in the state of Indiana, from high school to college to pro. They just love the game at every level in the Hoosier State. making a switch here. Here's McDonald. Okumake outside. Tarasi. Reiner. She's covered by Thomas. And the foul called on Courtney Vanderstoot. That's her first foul. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Here's McDonald. And here's Griner. Down low. It's stolen by Breland. Pass to Vandersloot. Oh, the stupendous finish in traffic. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to, to deal with their passer. Now, here's Griner. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Here's Ogumake. And again, it's the Liberty missing. Well, you have to like the work in the boards here in the first. Yeah, coming out of the gates with great energy. You kind of like they got shot out of a cannon. They're really setting the tone. Boom. Deladon with it. Defended by Coffey. Deladon inside. Another shot. And the layup is up layup and in. Well, part of what elevates Della Don from all-star to superstar to the MVPs that she's won, baskets like that, the heart that she plays with. Now here's Coffey. Pass to Henderson. Six on the shot clock. To halt the run. But they get it back. Reiner with the ball. Tries again. Henderson, shot is off. Now Deladon. He's got five. Get him, get him, get him, get him. 
A rebound by Brittany Griner. Outside McDonald. Pass to Agumake. Back to McDonald. Henderson. Okay, outside. Here's McDonald. Vandersloot defending. Reiner inside. Ella Don's there. That one drops for her. Yeah, seeing over defenders contributes to Griner's dominance down low. He's just lethal around the rim. Now a timeout called by Indiana. Deciding to change it up. Outside Wheeler. Alema. Poked loose. And stolen by Ari McDonald. Oh. Foul called that time on the way up, oh. and that'll give her two chances at first the first. Three foul. Teams first. Well, maybe the last Team player foul. you want to send to the line. McDonald is a fantastic foul shooter. First trip to the free throw line for her in this one. And the first one at the line is good. Not only is this a key regular season game, it also weighs heavy in the Commissioner's Cup standings. Yeah, each of these squads has a chance to get into the final. It is a must win if you're talking about the cup race. So after making the first, she goes one for two. Well, during her final year of college, what an incredible run by Ari McDonald, making it all the way to the national title game and just missing the shot to win it all. Now here's Wheeler. Passed on them off. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Parker. A team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific in the first quarter. They were ready to go right from the opening tip. Now Coffee for three. And it's Petty with the rebound. Now here's Alamon. Now here's Wheeler, guarded by McDonald. Screened by Kuia. Here's Alamon. Here's Petty. And she's good on the three ball. It has taken them no time to build this lead up. Great first quarter for them offensively. Yeah, but they can't sit back. They need to keep the pressure on the defense and really try to put this one away early. Great point, Brian. You have to continue to build on this lead. Now here's Coffey. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Just five on the clock. Henderson, shot is off. Outside Wheeler. Called in by Cheyenne Parker. Outside McDonald. Pass to Henderson. Parker with the screen. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. Quick and agile. Parker can do damage in the pick and roll. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock in game clock. Petty with it. And here is Wheeler. Alema. That three off the mark. Coffee outside. Pass to Parker. That's good, and it's Mia Coffey with the assist. Works hard moving without the ball. You know, part of the player who values goes beyond the box score. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. The Fever on top, up five. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Quarter 
just getting set to begin. And what stands out to you from the fever in this one? The work they've done here early on the glass, it's been very nice. Yeah, they've definitely established a good low post presence. The fever with the lead. Pass to Petty. Della Dawn with it. She's covered by Han. Now Alamon. Screen by Deladon. It's a three. It's rebounded by McDonald. Now Tarasi. She's guarded by Williams. Tarasi left side. Pass to Griner. And the layup falls. Way to work the ball in close to the hoop. Now here's Williams, guarded by McDonald. Outside Williams. From the high post. And she gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Oh, if you want to be a scoring guard like Williams, it helps tremendously when you can hit mid-range jumpers. Rossi outside. To the paint. Here's McDonald. The basket good off the assist from Diana Tarasi. Four of their last five makes came off a high-quality shot inside. And that's right out of the textbook. They're having their way down low right now. Now here's Williams. She has five. Aleman with it. Guarded now by Hahn. Elena Deladon for three. Rebound New York. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, I mean, the D's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. Reiner, good. Of their last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is smash mouth basketball, guys. Yeah, they're really imposing their will offensively and getting exactly the kind of looks they want. Now, here's Petty. Here's Deladon. From six feet out, she nails it. Down low, Deladon has the ability to score in droves. It's part of why she normally scores around 20 points, sometimes even more most nights. January, right side. Out of bounds. It'll be Beaver Ball. The ball goes to Indiana. So both teams changing it up here. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second period. Thomas outside. Pass to Vandersloot. Jake, sir. Reeland right side. That's good, and so Courtney Vandersloot gets the assist. Tremendous floor recognition from Vandersloot. She makes passes that others simply can't. Well, thinking back to those 2021 WNBA Finals, Courtney Vandersloot was unreal. I mean, dishing out at least 10 assists in each of the four games, a big reason the Sky won it all. Now, here's Griner. She has six. Shots good by Ogumake. That's their third straight make off an assist, and it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. Vandersloot with it, covered by January. Deladon inside. From down in the low post, it goes. And that 2021 playoff run for Courtney Vandersloot, just incredible. It really was. Courtney set the assist record for a single postseason, so she's got pretty much every assist record now. But way more important than that, Vandersloot took home her first WNBA title. Now here's McDonald. Five on the clock. Again, the Liberty good for two. With the quickness that McDonald has, it is not easy to defend Airy in the pick and roll. And it's the Fever Ball. They've led by as much as 10. Williams, guarded by McDonald. Poked away. January outside. 
to Rossi. Back to January. Five to shoot. They double team Brittany Griner. And yep, it's good. Just an incredible display of athleticism. Now, Griner's active on both ends of the floor, and her coaches appreciate that. Now, here's Vandersloot. Deladon with it. And again, it's Indiana converting. She's got so many tricks in her bag, she will find a way to hurt you. Pass to Agumake for Rossi. And again, it's the Liberty from deep. Accurate, quick, soft. It's a thing of beauty. It's a Diana Tarasi made three. And here's Deladon. She's covered by Tarasi. Shot left block. And she can't bank that one in. And the Liberty with possession here. Reiner. Outside McDonald. Back to Griner. Out to Tarasi. From the yard. Liberty, keep it alive. Pass to Griner. Shoots over Thomas. Griner misses. And here's Indiana. Salute outside. Here's Williams. Deladon outside. Vandersloot lets the three fly. Bangs home the trifecta. If you poll WNBA coaches, Vandersloot might be the top choice to ball handle in the pick and roll. Great handles Time and decision out. making. Timeout called the Liberty. Making a switch here. Beaver on D. Three point lead. Pass to Coffee. Here's a boom okay. Goes back up. And that's two points on the layup. Rebound battles split about evenly. Yeah, neck and neck on the glass. Just one aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game. And we love the close games. Absolutely. Now here's Deladon. 11 points in the game. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. It's on Shanae Ogumake. An all-around scorer like Deladon will take points and way she can get him. Yeah, no. the line, he's happy to draw that foul. Back in 2019, Elena Deladon climbed the final mountain in her WNBA career, winning a title, delivering Washington their first championship ever. And that's good as she hits both shots. 2019 was an incredible season for Elena Deladon. Yeah, and it wasn't just the title. I mean, individually, Deladon became the first WNBA player to ever shoot 50, 40, 90. She was over 50% from the field, 40% from three, and 90% at the line. Just crazy for someone who's 6'5". Wheeler, she's covered by Tarasi. 11 feet out. Wheeler can't get it to go. The Liberty Trail. Now 
Here's Coffee. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Another bucket in the paint. That's just something they have not been able to stop today. And if they want to win this game, they got to figure out how to stop it. You know, Brian, I think it's time to switch things up on teams. What they've got going on right now is not getting it done. Now here's Deladon. 13 points in this game. Block at six. Thomas is free. Vandersloot with it. Guarded now by Hahn. Indiana again missing. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing in control. Parker with the screen. Pass to Coffey. The three. The basket good off the assist from Diana Tarasi. Well, this is why Coffey's on the team. Stretch the floor and knock him down. Indiana trailing. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Deladon inside. Defended by Coffey. And Parker gets the whistle that time. That's her first foul. Timeout called the fever. Well, the coaches, they clearly don't like what's going on there, and they want to talk things over. And why wouldn't they talk things over? I mean, really, you had to take a timeout there and try to take away some of the opponent's momentum. Shea Petty, Julie Alamon. Pass to Petty. Now on the mom. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot and will shoot two at the line. This is her first trip to the free throw line tonight. Shooting for Indiana. Julie Alamon taking two shots. This is the free throw. And the second free throw, good. Here's Tarasi. She's got five. Coffee outside. Back to Tarasi. Fires from 14, and it's Petty with the rebound. So it's Indiana now. Outside Wheeler. The three-pointer off the mark. New York leading. Rossi outside. Pass to Hahn. The second chance effort, and she sinks the layup. How many bodies on the glass right there, and they paid for it. And it'll happen again and again if they don't put more effort into boxing out. And that's what it's all about, Brian. Rebound, effort. With one on the clock, what a play! She drains it at the buzzer! An ideal finish to the fourth.